Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about my full experience on the IB Spentex PC version. First of all, I'm going to quickly show you how I installed it, then I'm going to talk more about the process and everything. So first, I just basically went to the YouTube page of IB Spentex and clicked on the link they have provided. It opened in Google Chrome. Then I went for the free trial version. It redirected me to the Microsoft Store. Then I just installed it. It took me a bit time because I didn't have something called Microsoft Edge Web View runtime. I'm not sure why is it important, but I guess it's needed if you want to launch this app. So I first had to run it, then I could successfully launch the app. When I opened it, it asked me if I want to use the free version or purchase it. So I just basically clicked on the free trial. Then I logged in using my Apple ID. But of course, it was not really helpful because I only had 64 MB space for cloud synchronization. It didn't really do anything for me. Then I started painting just randomly. I went straight for the painting without properly making a line art because of the lack of time. So you can already tell I had to use the liquify pens a lot to fix proportions and stuff. The app didn't really allow me to screen record, so here is a little bit example of me struggling to paint using computer just like a caveman. Do you guys remember that I told in one of my recent videos about using my first ever pen tablet? It's the same tablet I have used for this drawing because that's the only pen tablet I have. I was glad to see the pressure sensitivity was working well on it. I used the acrylic mix brush to paint but not with the preset parameters. I changed the brush type to mono from water. If you are thinking I'm talking in some kind of alien language, then you might want to check out the brush customization series where I have discussed everything about brushes in detail. I was struggling so much that I didn't record myself this way anymore and decided to transfer the art file to my iPad for screen recording later. Now let me tell you about the experiences I had during the entire process. The first and the most obvious thing I'm going to talk about is the time restriction. I could not help but to look at the top left corner as the time was running out. I would literally blink an eye and see half an hour was already gone. It was really stressful. I don't like being restricted by time at all. I do not pre-plan everything when drawing. I like to go with flow. I like to think how to improve it while drawing it or just do something that I never really thought I would do. So yes, I like to take my time. But unfortunately, that was not happening here. I had no time to think. I was just painting like a robot. The only one good thing about it was I could not procrastinate. I had to focus a whole lot. I didn't even have the luxury to check my Instagram or WhatsApp notifications. Although 
I don't like working under pressure. I have seen that I work better in such cases. But that certainly does not mean I would like to continue it for a long time. It would just exhaust me and I'm sure many of you can relate to this. In conclusion, I would like to say IB Spintex has done a great job pushing their paid version agenda. Because one hour is just too little for artists. I'm actually also considering getting the full version, but not now. Because I don't really have a bigger pen tablet to work on it. So until then, I'm just going to stick to my iPad. I think I was struggling more because I am not used to paint on PC and I'm still fairly new to work with pen tablet. You know what? I think I'm kind of developing a great liking towards iridescent coloring. It's just so vibrant and artsy, I can't. I absolutely love it. Maybe I'm tending towards a specific style, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing the usual thing. It's just this is something I am really loving these days. I just remembered that my stylus has two buttons for shortcuts. So I could use them when I was painting on my Android phones. But this time, when I tried to use it on PC, only one of them was working. The app would not let me do anything for the other button. So I could only use the upper button for undoing. This situation reminded me of another problem I faced. So the PC version wasn't really saving my personalization for the first few days. I'm not sure if that was a bug or something, but it was very annoying. For the first time, when I used the app, I logged in using my Apple ID. And then next time when I got back there, I noticed that it wasn't linked. Also, shortcut for my stylus reverted back to no specification. Thankfully, it didn't revert back again after the first few days, but I am really not sure why did it happen. My initial thought was, is it because it's a free trial version? But I can't be 100% sure about that claim because it is currently working. But I can't also say it won't create problem again in future. So let me know in the comment section if you have faced the similar problems in the trial version or the full version so that I would be able to understand what actually happened there. The face was looking very weird for most of the time, but I decided to trust the process and I'm glad I did it. Also, for some reason, she looks like Billie Eilish to some extent. I don't know if you can see it, but I did say it and it was not intentional at all. I'm not going to lie to you guys. After four days of struggling and wasting time, I decided to move on to my iPad for the finishing touches and extra things I wanted to add. This artwork took me around five and a half hours to finish. So the last one and a half hour was spent on my iPad. I remember the exact time point when I shifted devices. I could see the different brush strokes from my custom brushes and also I did a lot of fixings that was extremely important. I will let you guys know the exact time point when I switched to my iPad. For the time being, enjoy the process.
So this was the exact point from where I switched to my iPad.
the original reference, there were some flowers, so I decided to add it as well. But in a way that it would be kind of abstract. You won't be able to see a prominent flower there, but it would still have the vibe. Now this is going to be just me playing around with layers and when I do that you know that it's post production stuff when I'm done with the main painting. Changing the eye color was very spontaneous decision that I do not regret. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the process and also got to know about my whole experience on the free trial version of ID Spentex. If I ever get myself a better and bigger tablet which is more suited for PC drawing, I might actually get the full version. Let me know your experiences in the comment section. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.